But while election conspiracy candidates are winning Republican primaries where they run against each other, they're having less luck when facing off against Democrats, even in an election cycle that's supposed to favor Republicans. Last night, Michigan held a special, ele a special election for a vacant House seat. Trump had won the district by double digits in 2020. He'd been represented by Republicans for more than three decades. So the conventional wisdom was that this was going to be an easy Republican victory. The Republican in that race was a conservative QAnon conspiracy theorist. He claimed that Ukraine was, quote, culpable for its invasion by Russia. He ran on a platform of trying to decertify the 2020 election and at one point, he decided to use a very unfortunate metaphor for that fight. You know, having three daughters, and I tell my daughters, well, if rape is inevitable, you should just lie back and enjoy it. See the shocked look on the face of the woman next to him? Well, that woman is a fellow Republican. The Democrat running against the fringe QAnon rape joke guy decided that she was going to make that candidate's extremism and conspiracy theories a focus of her campaign, and it worked. The Democrat, Carol Glanville, won the special election for that state house seat deep in the heart of Trump country. After her victory, she told The Washington Post, quote, Democrats need to tell their story. The big takeaway from all this is that people are tired of radicalism and conspiracy theories.